Hey, what's up everybody? It's Richie here, and today, for the first time in a really long time, we are back with another Minecraft tutorial. Now, if you watch Richie's World, you should have seen this device before. We built it kind of recently, and what it is is essentially a mob ejector. We have, a, say, a villager in our world, or any kind of mob, down on a minecart, and then that minecart can get sent into this, the minecart gets collected, and they get ejected from that minecart, meaning you can have a, a, a really efficient system to transport mobs with rails, or a system, in our case, to kill unwanted mobs without wasting minecarts, because you can just collect them right here, and then have it loop around, and not have to worry about having to get mobs out of minecarts at the end, or anything like that. So the way this works is really, really simple. You can probably see how it works. We have a minecart, it goes along here. Whoever's in it hits the activator rail right here, which is powered by this redstone block, and they get sent flying out of the minecart onto this block right here. Now you can actually set it up to not only this block, but this block, this block, and this block, but because it's simple, we're setting it up right here. This guy gets ejected, he can't land anywhere else because of these slabs right here, and then the minecart goes around this corner and just hits the edge of that cactus, and it falls down into this hopper and flows into this chest. It's a really simple design, it's really cool, and for me at least, it's been really useful. And if you want to build this thing, it's actually really, really easy. You're just going to need a bunch of rails, an activator rail, two hoppers, two chests, a bunch of slabs or solid blocks, a redstone block, some sand, a cactus, and of course some minecarts to get the thing going. And basically to make this thing, we start with the block we want our person to land on once they're outside of the system. In our case, we're going to do it right here. And then what we're going to do is put a slab right here, two slabs like this. And then we're going to go under a block right here, put a slab basically so there's a block, and down one block there's an up, upward-facing half slab on top of it, and we're going to put sand right there. Of course, if you're underground, you can have a solid block. It really doesn't matter whether any of these things are slabs, with the exception of this ring around the top. And now that we have that, we're going to go to the side with the sand, place two chests just like this, with two hoppers flowing into them, and then place our activator rail here, a regular rail here, 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 and here, break that rail, and place a cactus down. So we have sort of a lollipop shape going straight into that cactus. Now, if you notice, this is built the opposite direction from the other one. You can build this in any direction you want. It doesn't matter. It just matters that we have this shape going into the cactus with the activator rail right here. And from there, we're going to plop a block of redstone above that activator rail. And I know you're thinking, why don't we just power it from below? Well, we could, but that would lock this hopper, which would mean our collection system wouldn't work right. And from there, our very last thing to do, actually, is just to put a ring of slabs around here, and boom, there's our exit. You can put your entrance of rails coming in this way. All minecarts that come through are going to be collected in this chest, and all mobs that come out are going to fall onto this block. Now, you can do a lot of things with it. You could put a sign here and put some water here to make a water stream going out. You could, like I do, close it off like this and put a magma block down there if you want to kill the mobs that land on it. Or you could just leave it like this. You could even use a system like this for players because it is cool to get just automatically ejected from your minecart like that. And it is very efficient to have all your minecarts collect very simply. But unfortunately, guys, that's it. That's going to be it for me today. I know it was a really short, really simple video, but if you liked it, please hit that like button, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Just a reminder, this was made in Richie's World, and if you want to be a little bit ahead on the redstone, you should check that out. Well, actually, you should just check it out, because I think it's a nice series, but a lot of the, a lot of the tutorials I do or I'm going to do are based on things I've done in that world. 
But unfortunately, guys, I'm like choking. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, my throat's all gooky. <sighs> Until the next time. No, how do the words work? But unfortunately, guys, that's all I have time for today. Ah. <sighs> Until the next time, it's been Richie, and I'm out. I'll see ya.